Good evening, everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? I was about to say Saturday evening. It's not Saturday yet. <laughs> right, this Friday evening. Thanks yes. for joining us. Thanks for joining us this Friday evening. Samantha and I, I and Samantha, we are sisters from another mister. And this um, is our collaborating YouTube channel. Uh, where we both join forces, you know, to create a channel separate from my other channels. Um, and mainly on this channel, um, if you check the channel description, we'll do like mainly just to have general conversation with you guys about different topics. It might be a topic we came up with or something we saw in the news or trending in the media. And sometimes we'll be doing uh, movie reviews as well. Like I want to go see that one movie. The one um, intruder oh. that looks really juicy. But anyway, you know, we <laughs> we decide, you know, once a month, approximately once a month. You know, sometimes she'll choose a movie, sometimes I'll choose a movie, and then we'll tell y'all what the movie is, and we'll give y'all like a few weeks to get out there and see the movie, and then we all talk and shit about chit chat about the movie and review it together. But anyway, yeah, you want to go tonight? For real though. Shoot, we can check the times, as, but shoot, it depends on what time we finish with the live, though. Because uh, I, I don't know. Shoot, you, shoot, let me check it out. <laughs> I go on the internet and uh, check see what time. Because, yeah, it's a movie theater right by, right down the street. But, uh, okay, so tonight, everybody, first of all, come on in. I'm going to have the phone lines um, open. So if anybody wants to call in, just let me know. Just hit me up in the chat. Say, Tanya, could you turn on the phone lines? Because you want to call in to discuss, you know, something regarding to what we're discussing tonight. Which, if you notice from the title of the live, is called Men Who Refused. Ooh, I need to edit that. Because it says refused. I don't want it to say refused. I want it to say refused. Okay, let me change that real quick. Men Who Refused. To pay child support and the women who love them. And then I put vice versa because there are women too who get, you know, um, made to pay child support. And sometimes they don't pay either. And we can discuss the men who love them <laughs> as well. <laughs> but um, mainly, you know, Samantha and I, um, I'll let you talk in one second, but we have been... Uh, discussing you know child support and child rearing and the laws and all that kind of stuff um and then she had recently uh told me that she had been talking uh to someone or someone she knew you know was either dealing with it or something like that so that's why we figured like maybe that'll be a good topic to talk about you know trying to raise kids you know by yourself without no help or anything but yeah so um yeah and also, I was called talking about, excuse me, about is I did speak to a young lady one day, and she said that, you know, and I'm never judging nobody, and we just happened to just track up a conversation, we talking, and child support was one of them, and it not, not that we make it out that men don't want to pay, that women don't want to pay, some people just it's just sometimes it's just their choices, you know, but. I was told that you can, like, you can sign it away, sign it where if if your the baby mom or baby dad or whoever, you can sign it off where nobody has to pay. Oh, yeah. If you can come to a mutual agreement and you truly trust one another where you can um, really, you know, if the person, you believe they're going to stick to their word, basically. Say that you know well. I'll write this child take off child support or whatever you need because you can do it. Mm -hmm. It's doable, but they say though that some people get you to do it and then they uh, don't stick. You know, keep up their part of the agreement. Also, you can always go back. I believe that's what she told me. Yeah, and you can uh, start another child support account or how you know get child support going again. Hey, Mark the Traveler. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> but yeah, me and Samantha, um, we just wanted to discuss a little bit. I don't know, my leg itch, a, li a little bit about uh the child support and the laws. And you know, if you have any stories 
um, just let me know you want to call, whether it's from a guy's point of view or from a female perspective. Feel free to call in. Just type in the comment section that you want me to turn the phone lines on, and I'll turn the phone lines on, f and then I'll post the uh, phone number as well. Um, let me see where the phone number is. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me find the phone number. But also, what Samantha was referring to was, and I have seen this done, where, like, a guy um will owe a whole lot in child support like a whole lot you know thousands and thousands and he'll convince the mother or the person um raising the child mm -hmm. to go down to child support to uh basically erase or make it all go away or tell the courts that you you don't want them to uh make them pay for that amount or whatever yeah and sometimes that's the case if they, if your children are already older, like for instance, I won't say the amount, I won't say the amount, but one of my son's father owes child support and it's, it's up there, <coughs> excuse me, but I won't say the amount, but it is, it's, it's, it's a nice amount. <laughs> it's a nice amount. <laughs> and my son is grown now. So I didn't have like, um, going back and forth with myself about, you know, some people feel like, okay, I'm going to say this guys, some guys feel like if they were, um, uh, supposed to pay child support and they either didn't or they got like seriously behind in child support. Once the child is grown and the child is already raised, the child is grown. Even if the mama had to do it all by herself, the child is grown now. He's grown. I mean, he don't necessarily need anything from the other parent once they grown. Y'all know where I'm coming from? Let me mm -hmm. fix this angle a little bit. Okay, that's better. Um, So, I hope y'all know what I'm trying to get at. Because there are fathers out there who be like, oh, you know, I owe all this child support and it's affecting my credit and you know I can't get certain jobs and whoop, 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 whoop. Um, you know, the child grown now, let's just squash this. You know, just, you know, just yeah, make it go yeah. away. And it's like, should you? Should you? Like, should you just be like, oh, okay, well, I did raise my child, you know, and I didn't raise none of my children by myself. They had their fathers involved in their lives, but you know, some things happen. It happens all the time. People get behind in their child support. And sometimes intentionally, like, they just don't want to pay. And sometimes unintentionally, like, they went through hard times and just got behind, which is a whole nother, you know, story. That, that's, that is understandable because we all fall on hard times, might lose a job, get laid off, get sick, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But how do you feel about that? Me and once a child is grown for child support, I think that if the father was raising a child, the mother was raising a child. And if a person fell on hard times, they fell on hard times. But if they didn't speak up and let you know what was the deal, they just stopped paying. Now they had to fill you in and all their whole house, whole business or whatever. Especially at probably 9 or 10, y'all not together if they not, you know, yeah. contributed anyway but my thing is about the whole thing I child supporting myself is like if I gotta do it I feel you need to do it too and the only reason why is you know because a lot of times single moms really do get stiff but then lately more I've noticed that it's been guys is, is single dads too Mm -hmm. And they probably getting done the same way. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, one thing about it is, if you truly going to use the money for the kid, then yes, I do think you deserve it. And if you raise a child by yourself, male or female, children, children, one to ten, I don't care. They said, this lady told me one time when I talked to her about child support, she said, it's just like a student loan. You're going to pay it. Or you gonna die with it? Right, <laughs> it's true though. I mean, and that's, that's the only thing that don't is. go away. <laughs> right, and I and you know, 
I don't care if a child is grown or not. If you really, if that child was in your household and you took care of them, I believe that you deserve that money even if your child is grown afterwards because you made it happen and they could have helped out. Me with both of my kids, I asked for help first. You know, I want. I, I ain't never been all about the money, cause regardless, I'm, I'm a woman still that make or make. I made it happen then, I will make it happen now. But that's 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 a, that's that's all said and done. But one thing is, I always felt is like mm-hmm. kids don't ask to be here, and nowadays it's much harder to get help, the government assistance or anything. <laughs> yep, and like a lot of. A lot of people I heard, and I'm sorry, mostly men, that I have, if I ever have a conversation with them about child support, if they not paying, maybe they, maybe they, at the time, some of them can't get a job. And I, some of them I do believe, because I do know, know a few. But sometimes men that say, I ain't paying no child support. You ain't been the, they ain't gonna be at the club with, with their nails and hair and, 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 and drink a Ciroc and Patron. <laughs> and lashes and la- the, Oh, and they hate the lashes. Oh, my God. So Men they, hate they, lashes. They can't stand <laughs> lashes. They said, uh-uh. The lashes be looking... St- I forgot what my man said. He paid the child for <laughs> before he paid it look like a, a, a old broom. And then when he paid her child support... She was uh, like, uh, like they, they was, they was like a butterfly wing. They was flat. They was all, yeah, all bouncy. I said they had body to him. That's what I told him. He was real fat. He, he said her lashes look like an uh, old, old broom. broom. I was like an <laughs> old broom. He's like, you know the old broom, y'all. You, hey, you know, everyone well, back in the day, you know, people say you keep some in case you had to get some up that oh they didn't want the house broom used for. I, that's what my mind went. Oh my lord, Jesus. Girl. The whole broom, the one you use My. on the outside of the yeah, house. Yeah, you better not bring it back up in the house broom. <laughs> and he said the basement broom. <laughs> but, but but the kids were a size six, and they got on a size two. Oh shit! But but my, you know, I, and I, I can understand a man like that. Yeah, the, the okay, lady dressed but, to the nines. The hair is laid and slayed. Eyelashes on fleek. Um, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> eyelashes Girl. be on fleek. And nails and rhinestones and all kind of different colors on the nails and the child looking like somebody had a what you call me? Are you hungry, child? Are you hungry? Oh, they don't buy no food. Where's your mother? Are you cold? Do you have a coat? (laughs) You know, like Mm -hmm. be looking like helpless, like they need a a handout. You know, and I didn't see it. I done seen it with my own eyes. People, I, I ain't gonna say no names, but you know, and this has been long, long ago. <laughs> long ago. But I done seen it where somebody I know associate or something, they <laughs> look like they about to go to a concert or to a fashion show and they kid run around <laughs> nappy headed, snotty nose, with some clothes, some hand me downs, and they getting child support. Mm-hmm. And the woman at the dang nail shop every week. At the hair shop every week, getting her paying to get her lashes done, thirty, forty dollars to get her lashes done. And the child child. looking like the child looking like Is you hungry? Beat the band. Is you hungry, honey? (laughs) Where's your mother? (laughs) You know, where's your mother? (laughs) <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying I'm just, I can't say what I really want to say they look like but I just use beat the band but my sister got a word for it, actually what it's, what it's really for but we, 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 we you we said beat the band beat the band baby beat the band I mean the the the, the band women they just wear them scrunchies and everybody just wear them scrunchies uh-huh, and uh-huh. you can tell somebody had that scrunchie in their head Probably since they bought it from the pack, and, be, and then they always put the white ones in their hair. And they be dirty yeah. from all the dookie gel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so imagine the child looking like that, and then the mama. All the dookie wanna... gel and the blue hair grease. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never ever figured out what color that is. And it make a color when it mix. Ooh, it makes a gray it color. color. It turns yeah, like a, 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 dirty, a dirty gray color. <laughs> I look. I, my sister got a white I used to always wear a black uh, one. I used to always wear black. Because, you know, it, you couldn't, it, it always looked black. <laughs> I never wore them. I mean, I had worn them, I'm not going to lie, oh. but I never wore them where they would have to, you know. Or different colors. You yeah, know, I would like wear red them, or... like, 
if I had on this and it was like say I was like a gray dress, and you or wear like a gray one, put, yeah, yeah, you try to coordinate, one, yeah, yeah but, but white. Mm. I wouldn't keep it in. I rarely wore a white one with when you have the dookie. You know, and back in the day, everybody put dookie gel in their hair. That stuff, and then you. Know I used to love it. Boy, I had that curl, had that slick down, had that bob up. Oh, but after it's been in your head in. all day, <laughs> and it's like this crust all around your head. This crust. Ooh, I, I, I got and too then you much to told off about that. But I don't even tell put about a little water on it. Hot water. Little water on it. <laughs> You gotta go down like this. With yeah. The, with, the with the no, with the deal with the toothbrush. You gotta take an old little toothbrush and you gotta get the little <laughs> baby hairs and stuff. Or try to make some baby hairs. Try to make it look like you got some baby hairs. I, 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 I don't know. I don't have no baby hairs. No. All my hair is like the same length. <laughs> I'm sick of you. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm sick of you. I'm sick of your butt. I'm <laughs> okay, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I think I think child oh, support funny. has been a thing of <laughs> of uh, like more of a uh, you know people want to if you paying child support if I was paying child support and that's why I'm not and I'm not no male basher either so but if I was paying child support I would want my money. Now, I will never say if the mom needed help and she needed her hair done to go to a job. J-O-B. Not the, the word bar. today is job. J-O-B. <laughs> now, she can, I wouldn't mind if she did that. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to come or him if the dad needed a haircut. Yeah. But I don't want to come over there. And little so and so, or princess, <laughs> but, but that you'll never see them. But when you do, go little over boogie, there, <laughs> little nay nay, why they always got two names? <laughs> little peanut, <laughs> and them. But 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 when, but when whoever ain't using the money right, they cool with it. But 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 look, the little one in the back, they ain't never in the picture, you know, because they you know, they don't they don't know once you see them. And nowadays. People take pictures and videos of everything. Everything. They straw could be bit. They they could get a busted pack of ketchup at the Burger King. But look, the little one that's supposed to be getting this child support money can't even get on a picture that you pay for they the phone with with their money. Because of the way you as the well people as the people spend the money, you know? And then when they do get an outfit, mm-hmm. it's cause they going to the new Whoever person in the relationship barbecue and their family gonna be there and they gotta and, dress up and look cute and then they want to beat them because they they want to play because they never they not used to being dressed because they used to you taking the money and running away with it mm-hmm. but you know some people out there do use the money right right they legitimately use the money and <clears throat> one thing I can say. I've been knowing her for a very long time. She's been knowing me for a very long time. I'm sure one thing we can say, and by the way, one of my children is her nephew. So, um, I can honestly say that both of us can probably agree that neither one of us is the kind of women who uh, would, you know, take advantage of the child support system. And, you know, how some, some men, you know... They generally, some men, and that's why I tell my son all the time, you have to really, really, really be um, careful who it is that you date. Because too many times men get out here and they see that chick out there, the one with the big, plump, nice, juicy, (laughs) apple bottom booty, and the plump, turkey melons and you know what I'm saying she the girl with the long weave and the nails and just you know just just looking, just looking all cute <laughs> and all the kind of stuff and um they know you got a job you in college you got your own car you got you know not saying that all women is like that but there are some girls out there who are only attracted to men that can do something for them them are the ones you really want to stay away from because them are the ones that you do not want to get pregnant. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know some women 
There are some women out there who do men so dull, dirty. The man be out there busting his butt to pay that child support, taking care of that child, doing everything he can. Mm -hmm. But she's so bent out of shape because he don't want to be with her anymore for regardless, whatever reason they broke up, what, no matter whose fault it is, Ooh. she been out of shape. And she will always, always ask for an increase. I know somebody who literally told me that they ask for an increase every 10. Like, what, what in Nebraska? Don't we get it every two years? I the option. I mean, I never asked for one either. But, I mean, we have the option, like, every two no. years, I one think. Time, I, one time, I don't know exactly how it go. I'm sorry. Oh, go but ahead. But one time, I had a... I don't know, me, me being me or whatever, I opened and read the stuff when it came. I did. But I used to always look at it like this. I really just, and, and honestly, I really did. I just really wanted the time and help when I needed for my kids. Yeah. Me and my, me, I always try to leave civil with anything. But my thing is, is, um, you know, like, when, when women get mad and they figure somebody doing something or whatever. Only thing is, I used to say when they sent me my increased papers or something or whatever they was, I have got them, but I never said it Me that. too. But I just usually toss them in the trash, you know, because obviously around that time I was probably cool. You yeah, know, like, and you know what? Even I don't though, need that no increase thing. if we we yeah. cool, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, we getting it. And the only thing is, I never, I never did do it because I was mad or whatever. I started off doing it for either one of my kids is when, cause I I I had I needed it to be done so I could get like yeah there are certain situations care. where you should <laughs> I I believe there are certain sh situations where both you should have the right to ask for an increase especially if like let's say you got laid off your job or some, the economy or the other person. Is oh, now yeah. like after a few years? Okay, it could be where a, f a few years back, y'all could have been making around the same amount of money, you know. And then within a few years, you, yo, his income, the, the other parent, his income just goes up through the roof and increases by a lot, and you're kind of still around the same. Now, yeah, you can't you can't blame somebody for getting a you know better paying job or whatnot, but it's the same way. If that woman asks for an increase, it's the same way. If a man says, you know what, I want a decrease, maybe the baby mama, she got a good job to turn into a lawyer or just, you know, just got a good job Could and he still around the same income, you know, where he was when the child support decree first went through, he can also go down and ask for a decrease. So it works both ways. But some women out there, they just always, that paper comes every two years, is now that time where you can ask for a de for an increase. They go down there running, just running for an increase, even if they cool. And then it gets to the point where the man don't have enough to even well, pay his rent. Well, they changed that. I or... remember this and they changed that. Once I, one time I was following on the news, mm -hmm. they did say they changed to where, because I remember men, and that, and that, and that's why I'm going to say men, because at the time it was more men paying than women. Mm -hmm. And I do remember men being very tight about it, uh, you know, tight live about it, because some of them mm -hmm. wasn't been le even left enough to be, to live off of. And me, when I, I'm going to be honest, with you, and I'm going to say this, me, when I did get the papers, which I seldom don't probably got to the point where I wouldn't pay attention to it, but I never did sit in for one. And I always looked at it like this. You know, my son had a good relationship with his dad at the time, and I felt that, you know, I don't want money to, you know, I didn't know how he would feel, feel if, I, if, if I would have, which I wouldn't have, but I always thought about it, and I said, you know what, like Tyus said before, I, I don't, if what we, if we was, we, 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 we ain't like, like, had no silver spoons or nothing, but at the time, God, God has always been good to us, you know? So one thing is, I ain't never been, and I tell my boys the same thing, if you do got them out there, if you're together with them, with the mom, help her, but if they ever come to where you're not, do your part and try to stay out of the system. You know, don't look because, she might have got a new, uh, if they end up with the kids, she might have got somebody new, or if, and I tell 
they, you know, I, I tell the same to the I, to the, the, the other person. Mm-hmm. If they just if my if just if they end up with somebody else, don't get mad and then want to do it because that's a lot of times. And, I, and it has been more women than men. I have seen this on TV. I've seen it in read it in the paper. I've seen people come. I've heard it in conversations where women get mad and they see their baby's dad or over to his new whatever they want to call him nowadays. I'm so out of that. What? But they want to call the police. Yeah. What do y'all call each other now? I don't know what they call Boo. I always say booski. That's that's just that's just my go to word. But they, but they call for the, for the man in my life. I like to call them Boo or Booski. <laughs> well, I have to, I'm gonna work on that because he ain't in my life yet. But he's coming. But anyway. but I'm Booski. But then again, I call my homies that too. I call everybody. I don't know that. I don't know. We got to work with the, 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 the pet names. What need a pet names? I don't like Bae. Like, honey, I don't honey, like Bae. Honey, Doo Wop, Little Poke Chop. <laughs> and if we call Poke Chef from Hungry, oh, I hate my... Bay because Bay. I don't know. Now back in the day, I ain't even gonna lie. It was what up, Bay? You uh, know, Bay. Uh, that does. But Bay to me kind of represents somebody that you really not serious with. Baby, you know, I mean better. I don't than know. Baby. Hey, baby. And because baby everybody used it, so. everybody used it, overused it so much. Like the 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 other woman was Bay. The mistress was Bay. The wife is Bay. The girlfriend is Bay. The baby mama. I mean, well, what man told why me? Everybody got to be Bay. <laughs> one man told me like he was a woman named close to the same because he'll never forget. And that's ooh ooh, I heard that before. That's the best thing. Now I don't cheat. The names is what get him. I don't cheat. That's why he got paid child support. But for the ones of y'all that do <laughs> cheat or like to have a whole bunch of women, you know, in different area codes, you know, um, stick to a pet name. The same <laughs> pet name. Never call them by their name so you don't never mix it up, especially when y'all, you know, mm, 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 dancing in the bedroom and you don't want to, um, you know, mention the wrong name. Call them all the same pet names. Oh. And you'll never go wrong. That's a little tip for the cheaters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he told me. He had my name. And I told him, he was like, oh. Like a, like a light bulb came on. And I was like, oh, wow. Mm-hmm. He was like, when he was saying it, he did. He said my name about 10 times. I was like, what the that's about? <laughs> <laughs> like, was he, was he sitting there and fit up in there? <laughs> say my name. You want to? You say my name. Say it. my name. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he probably paid child support. Be like, Destiny's child. Why you can't say my name on the phone? Why you can't say my name? Who over there? <laughs> and it's FaceTime ain't no joke nah. nowadays. Well, they like, FaceTime ain't no joke. Let me see the whole room. Be like, huh? I hate when people call me by face. Ooh, one time, oh my God. One let me, let me time, see that whole, Let me see the whole room. One time I accidentally... You know how Facebook, when they first came out with the inbox, oh, yeah. where you could like call people, <laughs> and then one of them was not the not the Facebook Live in the inbox, where you can either just inbox somebody, oh, or you, you can, can call them, chat. or you can video chat. <laughs> man, man, I must have accidentally. That was when it first came out, and I must have accidentally Ooh. called my homeboy, and I ain't even gonna say his name on here because he'll probably be cracking the head up. But um, I had oh, called him accidentally by the video chat, and <laughs> I wasn't fully dressed. I was not fully dressed, and I and when I seen his face pop up, I mean, thank God the phone was like facing directly <laughs> up at my face because when I seen his face pop up when I was trying to call him. I was like, oh my God, girl, I was trying to push all these buttons. I'm like, what is this? What is this? Why is he on my screen? I had that one. I'm like, why is he on my screen? I'm like, oh my God, I'm trying to end it, end it, end it. Then I finally ended it. And that's when I found out that you can video chat. (laughs) How you doing this evening? Oh my God. Who we got on the line? Hey, Lele. Oh, no, that got to be Lala. That got to be Lala. Lala, my bad. What's up, 
What's up, Lala? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just up here talking about people who owe child support, but not just the people who just run across hard times and they get behind, but the ones who just don't pay child support. <clears throat> and then, if, if you notice the title, it says men who refuse to pay child support and the women who love them and vice versa. When I say vice versa, I mean mm. women are often sometimes being, uh, you know, made to pay child support. But my thing is, how do y'all feel? Okay, I, okay, me personally. Now, I'm not, I try my best not to judge people. I, I really do. People who really, really know me, like really know me, my friends and stuff. I try not to judge people because I know we all, none of us are perfect. But one thing I just cannot stand and I just will <laughs> not participate in and that is being with someone who does not take care of their children. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I mean, how can you meet someone and they tell you they have children and you never see them? Like, where, where your kid at? Where he at? Where he live? Is he in state? Is he out of state? You know, months and months down the line, years down the line, where your kid at? Where he is? Is he in state? Is he out of state? Do, <laughs> do you? I ain't seen you buy nothing for the child. Not Christmas. Mm -hmm. Not not Halloween. Not uh, July Fourth. No firecrackers. No and once school clothes. Their birthday gotta come. They birthday. Um, where they at? I, I don't. I don't get it. It's one thing, again, it's one thing when somebody is uh, going through stuff. Right. Because, I mean, hey, we didn't all been there where we got behind on our bills. We lost our job. We got laid off. The company closed down. I didn't been there. I don't know how many times I used to be in real estate. And back in the day, you know, around 2007, 2008, when the real estate, I mean, houses was in foreclosure all over the place. Yeah. I had worked at a real estate company for almost 10 years and got laid off. Then I found a job at another real estate company, worked there four years and got laid off. I mean, I, I get it. I get it. And it took me a while to find another job. That's one thing. But when they just outright not paying child support and they just outright not paying child support or the dudes who be, um, hey son, or the dudes who, um, be, hey, hey, <laughs> the dudes who be um working under the table. Oh, uh, working under the table. Will, Cause I'm so they gotta pay. Something else about that, I want to say. Hmm. How do how do? And this came from a man. Say, um, well, I just want to work until they grow. Good. That's when it came to That's me sad. when the lady told me that. That's so sad. He won't. You know, don't worry about it, because if, if it's me, you'll get it. But i tell you one thing is, when I was told to me, it said, it's just like a student loan, either you pay it or you die with it. Yeah. And it's not that I think, I think some people do it because of, you know, greediness, but more women and men nowadays, I truly believe. Since hey, Mrs. Slow. It's harder to get help. Hey, uh, Mrs. Slow. It's harder to get help and everything, but... You know, some people don't use the money right in there. Some that's do that's that's just like a, what they call a catch twenty two. Mm -hmm. So I think the well is like I said, if you can come to an agreement where this person can help, regardless of the mom or the dad got the child or whatever, grandma or whoever, if you really truly can stick to what your word is, then do that. I would prefer if 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 it, if then that's just a real the real living in the real world, which really, you know, not, but it'd probably be easier if we could do it that way. But right. that how often would that happen? Because I'm right. sure it does somewhere. And like um I had mentioned before and oh yeah, if if y'all wanna call in, hit me up in the chat and say, <laughs> Tanya, I wanna call in. I got a story for you about child support. Whether you a man coming from a man angle, men's angle, or if you a female coming from a you know a lady's angle just say, Tanya, I want to call in and I'll turn the phone lines on for you. <laughs> but, um, as I mentioned earlier, like, I have a son whose father 
you know, he had got behind. And it's like, he's grown now. He's grown now. So I asked y'all earlier, um, is it, is it, is it wrong for a man or a woman, regardless who, who got to pay the support? Is it wrong for them once the child gets grown to say, hey, could you call down the child support? Could you write them a letter? Could we make an appointment so we can knock all that past child support off and just delete all that? Because the child's grown now. I, he, I mean, it it's, it's, it's like you, you, the child has been raised, whether it was by the mama, the grandma, the auntie, whoever. The child has been raised, so sometimes parents who pay child support think, oh, well, if the child is grown, they 18, 19, 22 in college, or maybe have their own family by 22, 23, 24, 25, and they got their own family and raising their own kids. I, I mean, I know people, men who have been, like, in their 60s years, 60s and 50s, who still owe child support from children who are in their 40s, okay? And I know a lady in particular who started getting child support payments when her children was, like, 35 years old, and she's, like, 60-something. And so what she did is something, like, I told my oldest, when it comes... If it comes, because like Sam said, child support is just like um, student loans mm-hmm. and just like taxes. You gonna owe them till you die. You gonna owe them till you die. Damn. Um, taxes and child support can get you in jail. Student loans can get you garnished, but not in jail. But you know what I mean. These are bills. Them is like the three bills that you could never, never get deleted. You know from you mm-hmm. child support taxes student loans they with you for life until you pay them off um this lady she had you know said that she um when she started getting money uh since well you said you know sometimes i feel like that uh i I, i'm not owed that much i'm 225 200 i'm gonna do a burner 225 (laughs) that's a lot of money 225k that's woo now I didn't heard like 60 75 a hundred thousand but 225 hey woo okay hey I've been I've been haul him off to I've been got me a lawyer because I think it would be worth it but you know for the amount that I'm old it ain't worth it to go get no lawyer or nothing not at this time because the lawyer is gonna charge you you know what if you get anything out of it at all? The lawyer probably gonna take like one third or half of what you owed. <clears throat> but I, me personally, I told my son we had a conversation. Mm-hmm. I said, if and when, if and when, you know, you grown now. So if and when, we splitting it. I said we splitting it. Why? <laughs> Why we splitting it? Is because I raised you, and. For the amount that is owed to you, where I basically took care of you by myself. Not saying his father wasn't in his life, because both of my son's father was in their life, in, involved, you know, school, academics, sports, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it wasn't like they were, like, not there, but got behind on child support. So I told them, we split it. Why? Because I took care of you. Most of the time, especially financially, but why you're going to get some, even though if, even if you've grown and got a family of your own, because it was for you, it was for me to support you. But since I've been supported you and you're now grown and you're now in college or got your own family or whatnot, Mm -hmm. I'm still old because it was for me to take care of you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, some guys don't get that, though. They don't get that. Like, if you owe, if they owe $500, and you did this, that, and that for the child, bought them new school clothes, bought them new something, 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 and, and y'all might, y'all, some of y'all might disagree with me, and I didn't have conversations with different women and men about this, but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Let's say, Let's say a man was supposed to pay child support and he didn't for like a couple of months. And the child needed school clothes, school books, school supplies, haircuts, whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop. Um, school pictures, whatever. So when they pay that child support, let's say you put half on the kids 
and you kept some for yourself to pay like a bill, um, to buy groceries. Like some men think that the money on child support only is supposed to go to the kid. Like, not the gas, not the OPPD, not the MUD, not the rent, not the, uh, the, 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 the grooming supplies, the, the deodorant and the hair on my sons, they, they got these waves in their hair and they, they spend like, they spend more on their hair than I do and they just got waves. (laughs) I mean, they buying all these brushes and all these do-rags and all these different greases and gels and mom, I need this, mom, I need that from the hair store. I'm like, you got waves. (laughs) I believe that. You know what I'm saying? Like, men think. The, no. the, it don't go to the house. Like, it don't go to the house. It goes to yes, just the say, child. I mean, a lot of men are stuck in that way of thinking that only if I, you know, because before they, like, it was so hard to get child support. I remember when we was kids, you had to know their social security number. Oh, hold last on, Sam. Hold address. On, Sam. Yeah, Lala, I'm sorry. You're right. Sometimes with student loans, if you request, though, if you request, to um request for your uh student loans to be looked over and especially when, when Obama was in office, you know when Obama was in office, man, it was so many people with student loans mm-hmm. that was canceled. So if you request though, but some people don't, <laughs> and some people be in their fifties and sixties and seventies still mm-hmm. on child support <laughs> because they either don't know any better or hey, I don't know. But anyway, go ahead and say. I'm trying to, I'm up here just reading the, uh, the comments. Um, you said, Sissel, hey, boo, I heard somebody talking about my ex. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, Miss Sissel? Oh, she was talking about us. <laughs> <laughs> so you said your ex fit the, <laughs> your ex fit the bill. Ooh. That's what you said. <laughs> I'm like, hold up. We didn't mention your, we didn't mention your baby daddy. <laughs> Dating a guy who doesn't support his child. Like, could you do that? I, d- no. I just... I think that if a man can't do it, he can't do it. But if and when he can and he'd be able to do it, because it's always a way, always a way out of no way. Whatever they, however they word it, however they word it, it's always you can make a way out of no way. Mm-hmm. But I think if a woman decides to date a man, or if a man decides to date a woman... That you already know they ain't doing nothing for their child, and you better not have you, one. Yeah, that, thank you, because that's where I'm going. Because a lot of times, and I'm gonna take, and I'm not taking it for men, and I'm, you know, bashing on women, but a lot of times, I have read because you know Facebook, <laughs> it be people on there and they say. Oh, my baby daddy ain't this, that, and the third. Okay, but then somebody that knows the new ba- your baby daddy know that you knew because they probably had them too or whatever. Yeah, well, you knew that when you first met him that he right. wasn't shit. You never <laughs> seen his kids. As like Tanya was saying, you never, he never, you never heard him about talking about even buying nothing. And you know he got like two, three, four, five, eleven of them. But you sit up there and you get pregnant. Then that's all on you. I think that, you know what? If that man already ain't paying child support, take care of his kids, or that woman. Just like more 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 things that be now more things that I have heard is the man don't pay child support. But but, take care of but, a, a, but a woman to get pregnant mm-hmm. by him. But then also a man to get a woman pregnant that they know that don't Take care of her kids. She got oh, kids. Oh, that, that she got amen. kids in places. Amen. Amen. So it, it goes both ways. <laughs> Does I said, you know, we not we, oh, we they all on the system. Yeah, 
They are the lady on the system. She on the welfare. No, no offense to those who need it. No offense. I didn't had it before. I didn't had so. it before. Okay, <laughs> so they on welfare. They on food stamps. They on wig. They on public housing. Section eight, low income housing, whatever. So a dude get with them, and they be like, "Well, shoot, her baby daddy's ain't around. She ain't even really taking care of her own totally." Because right. she's getting assistance from the government and the taxpayers who put their money in the government. Um, so some guys feel like, well, shoot, she don't, she don't, she don't expect much. She don't require much. She ain't gonna care if I take care of my kids or not. Right. And, and, and if I knock her up, the system probably gonna take care of her too. Right. And that's what... and that's why they don't be using protection or practicing safe sex because they see a chick that's already. Um, being taken care of by the system, and they feel like, well, shoot, one more, what's one more kid gonna hurt her? If, because guys do not like using protection. I know women do too, but guys, and especially when it's times like these where the, the diseases is so high in so many areas, especially like herpes and gonorrhea and syphilis and AIDS, I mean, it. AIDS isn't as as horrible as it was back in the 70s and 80s and 90s, but it's still out there. It's still out there. And guys do not, oh, it don't feel the same. It don't feel the same. And they don't want to use protection. And they don't think about it when you got all these different kids already. (laughs) Hold on. Let me turn the call in line on Miss uh, (laughs) Sislo. But yeah, I can't do it. I cannot I cannot kick it with some guy who does not take care of his kids. I can't do it. Because I already know if we were to have a kid, he probably wouldn't take care of his take care of ours either. So I mean why? But then when a woman knows that she shouldn't get mad when she get another one. When she get one, I mean. Right. Because if you ain't doing something you ain't gonna do it the next time. Mm-hmm. I just feel your like I don't know why this thing always does this. I put in the um <laughs> Hold on, Miss Sislo. Dang, you must have brought me in. You must be on the wrong one. If you are the host, okay. press star now. And Other it's a lot of Mm-mm. <laughs> Okay. I'm about to give Miss Sislo the call in number. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm about to post it in the chat. I'm about to post it in the chat. Okay, the, this is the call in number. I'm about to post it in the chat, y'all. Call in number six zero five four seven five four zero seven five extension seven five three five nine. Okay, I'm about to. I've just posted it in the chat. The call in number 605-475-4075. Again, the call in number 605-475-4075. Extension seven five three three five nine. Let me know when you calling in, Mrs. Slow. I got the phones plugged in. You can never call that number. What does it do? <coughs> What does it do when you try to call? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I realized what I did. Never mind. I'm sorry. It's 6 I'm sorry. I put the wrong number in. 
Four seven four four zero seven five. Hold on, let let me um hold on, hold on. <clears throat> hold on one second. Okay, four zero Hold on one second, Miss Sis Miss hold on. So try this phone number. <clears throat> try this number. Let me let me put this number in here. Um let's see. Okay, try this number. I'm about to type it in right now. Seven five Three. Okay, try that number that I just put in there. Try it now because I put, I have the last four digits mixed up. But I could have sworn, I could have sworn the other number worked last time. Because Mark, I know when Mark called in last time, I think he used that number, but. He did. <clears throat> Sam, let me call from your phone. Hold on. Let me call what? from your phone. Okay, let's see. Six zero five four seven five four zero seven five. Let me see. I'm trying to call it from Sam's phone because that's the area. That's the right area code. Oh shoot, I, I didn't type the wrong number here. Oh, I'm tripping. Hold up. 605-475-4075. I messed that number all up. Welcome. This service is provided by Yep, the that's the right number. Please enter your access code followed by the pound or hash sign. Please announce yourself. That's the right. Okay, the, the first number I gave out was the right number, so I'm going to delete the other one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, yeah, that I'm a, I deleted the other number because the one I posted the first time was the right number. Erico 605 475 4075. I don't know why you can't dial that number, Miss Sislo. But that's the right number. I just dialed it from Samantha's phone. Mm -hmm. 
and an extension 753. The access code 753359. <clears throat> he said, call me on this phone. Well, I don't know your phone number. It, uh, uh, let's see. Um, I don't want you to put your phone number on there. Can you send me a message through, uh, send me a message through, um, through, uh, YouTube, you know, through the inbox on YouTube? Oh, okay. I see your phone number. I'm just not going to show it. I'm just not going to show your phone number. I'm going to hide it. I see it. Okay. Could you unlock your phone? Okay, hold on, Miss Cislo. Okay, I'm calling you now. Where you saying? Oh, um, you can't talk to on there because uh, why not? It's a um, you can put it on speaker. Hold on. No, I need to plug up here. So this don't uh, plug up? No. You know how to do iPhone. Oh, okay. Hang up, Miss Cislo. I'm going to call you from my phone. So hang up. I'm going to call you right back. <laughs> I hate that. I, I yeah, do. Yeah, you got to buy it, girl. That. Yeah, I was like, when I, I knew it when I bought it, but I was like, dang. I mm -mm, that's, that. the, that's what turned me off because they tried to get me one, too, before I uh, bought mm -hmm. the phone that I had. I was like, what? You got to buy a hope? Mm -mm. Welcome. This okay. All right, Miss Cisla, I'm about to call you. Uh, let's see. Hold up. You you took your number back. <laughs> Hold on, Sam. Push, push, read out so I can see what the number was that I called. Because she deleted her number. Push recent calls or... Yeah, is that it? Yeah, hit mo, hit uh, okay, right there. Okay, hold on, I got it. <laughs> okay, I'm calling you now. <laughs> hey, lady. How are you? Hey. What's up, Mrs. Cislo? I see you to change your name and everything. Um, I was trying to make it more captivating to okay. <laughs> the YouTube <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I feel you. Well, what's going on? What you What you want to share with us this evening? Girl, listen. When When I saw the title, the mean who <laughs> I was like. Let's talk about my husband. Oh no! I feel, oh, my back bones start twitching. My toes start curling. Oh my up. god! My, my hair start getting nappy and everything. I'm like, oh wait a minute, oh no! And I was like, I was, I was, it kind of went over my head, and I was like, hold up, I don't know your baby daddy. What you? <laughs> oh, but you are. <laughs> so okay, uh, this is how I feel. Okay. okay. Um, well, uh, my ex and I were married for, uh, about 12 years. 12 years, okay. And we had two beautiful children together. Mm -hmm. And, um, so he felt somewhere after the 12th year that he just didn't want to be married anymore and that he wanted to do a thing. Mind you, he was a preacher and he was doing his thing, whatever. So he walked away from his responsibilities. Now, I, I, I really... I've never been that type of mother that would say, okay, if you don't pay child support, you can't see the kids, you can't right. do this, you can't do that. Right. Because I've always felt like that hurts the kids more than it hurts. That's yeah. how I feel too, yep. So I, I always, you know. Oh, is your, you know, uh, I, I, Mama Cislo, is your, your uh, video down in the background? Yeah, it's okay. down. Okay, are you on speakerphone? Turn the TV off. Okay, you're not on speakerphone, are you? I am. Okay, you yeah, it, yeah, please, yeah, because it's a, it's like a. Is that better? Yes, ma'am. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Perfect. Okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't have a Bluetooth and all that. It's okay. I'm old school. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I still had a rotary dial phone. That's probably why I couldn't get through. I don't oh, know. It's a, it, that might, yep, that probably got something to do with it. Yep, yep. That girl just playing. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so at any rate, you know, I went ahead and I, um, I still allowed him um, the opportunity to, you know, to come and get the kids and and, and, and things like that, but it got to the point to where um, he wasn't even picking them up for visit. You mm-hmm. know, they would yeah. be sitting on the, on, the, on the sofa dressed and ready to go, and he didn't even show up. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And then my baby's sitting there asleep. But I never spoke ill of them because that was something that I didn't want them to be able to say, well, my mom would never, you know, let my dad see us, or my mom would do this or that. So once they came of age, they they got to the point to where they were able to see that it was a him thing and not a me thing. Mm-hmm. So when he tried to run those games, like, well, your mama wouldn't miss it. But they were like, up, oh, pump the brakes, bro. You know, <laughs> not trying to hear. And see, my middle daughter is a no-nonsense person. Always have been since she came out. She's always been... Like, eh, 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 eh. put your hand in the face, talk to the hand kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So she used to always tell him, it, it, you know, it's, it's all about the boys. Yeah, exactly. The boys, right. the boys, the boys. It's all about the boys. It's right. never about the girls. See, biologically, the girls are mine. Biolog- and, but I adopted all of my sons. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it was all his, his boys. They're all musicians. Um, one of my sons is in Hollywood acting. My my oldest son is a musician. He travels around the world. He plays for Snoop and and, oh, and wow. Terry Hilson and Tank and hey. uh, uh, Kier Sheer. Everybody. He 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 he. You know he's really established. So I thank God for that. That's what's up. And my girls, my girls are educated. They're you know doing well. Everybody is doing well for themselves. So I. You know, fortunately, raising them by myself, including his kids now, mm-hmm. his kids that I didn't birth, I raised them all together. Mm-hmm. But when he left, he took the boys with him. My girl stayed, and that's where he left them. Yeah. So I had to work three and four jobs at one time, put myself through school, put my children through school, and I raised them alone. I never called him and bugged him and broke up his home, disturbing his home about anything Mm -hmm. despite the fact that the woman that he cheated on me with he married and took care of her kids well they divorced he married again and now he's taking care of her kids and i was gonna in the meantime i'm glad you brought that up too because i was gonna bring that topic up how guys don't take care of their own but then they take care of and babysit the new woman's children but go ahead go ahead they call him dad and all this and that. And, he, and then at one point, I had to call him. And like I told him, I said, listen, I've never gotten into between a relationship with you and your children. I've always told you it's up to you to establish that relationship. Right. And I don't expect for anyone else to get between your relationship. Right. So you need to stop your stepkids from calling my children and telling them what they need to do when it concerns you. Because if I don't do it, no one else has a right to do it. So, you know, his kid, those kids were calling, well, our daddy does everything he can. He takes care of us, buying us clothes. And my brother said, well, I'm happy he's buying you clothes because he, he doesn't buy me nothing. He doesn't buy anything for me. And as a result of it, he is $225,000 in a rearage in child support. Do you think I will ever, do you think I will ever see any of that money? Never, never. To this day, to this day this man owes me, I have gotten a grand total of $500. What? $500 in established child support. Since child support is in since the, since, the very, since the very beginning, when when it was decreed, mm-hmm. when it was decreed, honey, five hundred dollars on the books. Look it up. Okay, now, now, in your on situation, the books. in your situation, because my situation is he works under the table. 
Your situation, oh. what's your situation like? And my situation does he not he work, work under the table? Does he work and he's the still table? under the table. He's under the table, under the couch. That's under usually the what it is. That, no, no, for real. That's usually what I it is. What she's Most saying. men get really behind on child support because they get these jobs where they're working under the table. Right. And, uh, and uh, I even under. know females who date guys who work under the table who owe money to their other one baby mama's children and these females that they date and they cool with that. They're but, like, yeah, my man works under the table, so he ain't got to pay his child support. Like, who mm-hmm. does that? But when it happens to them and they get that baby daddy that, that they get the baby with that man that works under the table, and now they want to come calling the other baby mama and say, what should we do? Oh, no, but when you was over there and everything was good with y'all, Y'all wasn't doing nothing, but now he just stiffed you with a baby. Well, stuck you with a baby, and now he's going on and still working under the table. At least what you could try to do now with the, with the one that was cool with it, as long as she was there with her and her baby by him, it was okay. But when he left and moved on, now she wants to call the other baby mama and say what well, we can do or call the place where he working and get paid under the table, try to get them in trouble for something because now she knows the shoe was on the, the other foot. And now she know how how the other baby mom was feeling. Mm-hmm. I didn't. And see, now besides the children that I raised, mm-hmm. because I raised, like I said, I raised all of our children together. So besides the children that I raised, though, all of our children are grown. Right. My baby was the last of the children that he had. Mm-hmm. So all of the children that's being raised now are stepchildren. Step- oh, they they have fathers that well. This this one he's married to now. Mm-hmm. Their dad are, is very active in their lives, but right. um, nevertheless, um, it's like you know he wasn't even visiting. And when I told him, you know, if you don't have money, you have time. Mm-hmm. But that's for you to do. It's not for that's me to push thing. it and establish it and make it happen. Time so now my children are then, then older, mind. and they and they have a chip on their shoulder. Mm-hmm. And he's angry because he's like, well. She still has to understand I'm still her dad. I'm like, but you made that happen. Mm -hmm. You established that part of your relationship. You Mm -hmm. never called. You never answered the phone when she called. You never came through. He never made it to neither one of their graduations. None of my children. Mm -hmm. He never made it. But for the boys, he was there for everything. For these other people's children, he was there for everything. Mm -hmm. He never saw one of the children, grandchildren being born. You know, it's just so much that he missed out on on their life, so they hold that against him because that's their dad. Right. But they're watching their dad be a father to, to so other many f- other people, yeah, including church family, family, because he's now he's not only a pastor, he's a bishop. And so now he's, a, he's, a, he's a father to a whole oh. lot of different people. You understand what I'm saying? I understand. So, but, you know. <laughs> Samantha about to go off. Ooh. That Girl, you know they say you ain't supposed it, it, to. You go ahead, baby. I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead, because I can't. You know I can't. Go ahead, girl. Let me tell you about this. And they say you ain't supposed to put your <laughs> mouth on the man of God. So Lord, I'm really not to help me if I, y'all, anybody that's out there listening, and everybody. But that pastor, being a pastor, okay. I'm dealing with that, and that's the one that owes me the child support money still. If he pay it, he pay it, but if he don't. But one thing is, like I told him one time, he going to say to me, I'm mad because he's not paying me child support. No, I'm not. I'm not never mad. But one thing is, I said, how do you stand up in front of a congregation and talk to Speak them? Up, yeah. Yeah. And, and plus, Speak believe it. them. But you because said, and, and you you gonna preach about everything but the part about being a, a lesbian. That's why I call him a lesbian. Because the Bible says that a man that cares not for his own is a lesbian and infidel, which is a standard non believer. So you wanna get up and preach about everything but being a lesbian. Because that's yeah. what you are. Amen. You are less than an infidel. You are beneath, below a non believer. And even a lot of my believers take care of their own children. Maurice. And I admire them for that. But yes. the, the whole thing in a nutshell is, this is what bothers me. 
Your mom gets mad because I wouldn't give her that money so she can go shopping and do what. Let me tell you something. Oh, we gonna shop regardless. Hey, we, we say you gonna give, give me. me you gonna give me that money to do whatever. Even after they are twenty two and twenty seven, going on twenty three and twenty eight at this point. You. you are going to get that each one of those dollars that you pay me back this point. I'm going to allocate it whatsoever I might want to, because I raised those kids by myself. I've already paid for it, yep. so you right. are reimbursing me. That's you what are I'm reimbursing saying. me That's for the I'm part saying. that you had to do it. When I laid down, honey, we were married. When those babies were made, you understand me. When those babies came in this world, we were married. Yeah, you understand? Right. I didn't make those choices on my own. So therefore, you them have, you put half on the baby. So I want my half back. Hello. All that twenty five, that quarter of a million, that quarter of a million dollars that I probably know. And then here's the thing: I asked him. I said, "Well, listen, if you're not gonna take care of me, life, sign this insurance policy. I'll pay the I'll pay the premium." So that at least if something happens to you, you still have to keep the bucket. At least they'll still have something. Wow, that's me. I'm like, I'm being realistic. You're not doing anything now. Let them have something. He still hasn't done it. So you know what I'm gonna do? I mean, I'm being, I'm not being better. I'm being uh, 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 it's because he's still telling me, oh, I can't do this. I don't have this. Other. But you just bought. A house with acreage. You guys are driving Benzes and, and, and Cadillacs, and, and you and her have his and hers for me. So you can't tell me you don't have. You now, like I told him, if you can't pay it all, you can pay something. But um, you don't feel real funny when they come walking down the middle of that aisle when you get off to call and kick and put your chain. You understand me? Uh huh. Because you didn't. Uh, you gonna feel real funny, and I'm not. I'm done with it. Because I, at this point, I've given him down your 20 years to get it right. And at this point, I'm on my knuckles. I'm disabled. I can't work anymore. Mm -hmm. And he has the ability to tear a house down and build it back up. If you can't do it, come fix the house up. He didn't keep that promise either. So I'm done. I'm not talking about it anymore. It's a wrap. No, I'm not a bitter old woman. But hey, I deserve to not... To have my lights paid every month. Mm -hmm. Right. You understand? Right. And like I used to tell him, every time you put a fork to your mouth and eat, just know that your kids should be eating too. You still eating and getting fat. So they should be eating just like you are. And they right. should not be ramen noodles and hot dogs. Let them eat steak and lobster. Entertain the church uh, guests.